Hello everybody and welcome to episode 24 of Glory Hunter with Inter Milan. Today we take on Torino, managed by the legend that is Robbie Keane. Now he had a very good time at my club Tottenham Hotspur, not so much in Italy. So he will be looking to prove a point today. Before we get to this one though, we have got some results to run through. And we start following the 1-0 win over Juventus last time around with another win over Juventus, this time in the Super Coppa Italia final. Two goals from Evan Ferguson in added time, winning the cup for us. Much easier against Bologna as we won by two goals to nil. Two goals for Emrick. And we beat Atalanta as well. Two goals for Esposito, one for Luka Suic. Then we secured our place in the knockout stages of the Champions League by sweeping a past Lask by seven goals to nil. A Moussa Diaby hat-trick, two goals for Esposito, one for Umpa Mikado and one for Emrick. Then we struggled past Frosinone, but we did beat them by two goals to nil in the end. Esposito and Emrick with the goals. And we rounded off the group stage of the Champions League with a 5-1 win over Michelin. Two goals for Arabas, one for Carboni. One for Umpa Meccano and one for Diego Jota. So with one trophy in the cabinet, and I say trophy, not sure if the Super Coppa Italia is worthy of winning, but we've won it anyway. Into the Coppa Italia next round. So the quarterfinal, we take on Napoli. Through top spot with 20 points in the Champions League. So we are through to the last 16 we don't have to play in the playoff round. Good luck to those who do. In Serie A, we are still unbeaten. 20 wins from 21 so far. Goal difference of 50. 61 points on the board. Milan are in second place on 49. It's between us two, isn't it? Let's be fair. I think it's not even between us two at this point in time. Torino have dropped out of the top six. They are looking to jump back in to European contention. Let's see if they can do it. Hopefully not. So here are the two starting lineups as Vicario starting goal for us. Timber, Bocelli, Schottlebeck, Robertson, Fratizi, Gavi, Arabas, Suic, Enric with Esposito leading the line as Torino start with Gamalo in goal. Bellanova, Jens, Tanganga, Borillo, Berlin, Kaba, Illich, Vaslich, Barnes with Bashar leading the line. So a few familiar names in the lineup for Torino under the tutelage of Robbie Keane. Ba -ba -boom. Used to love Robbie Keane and that goal celebration. Scored plenty of goals for Tottenham. Didn't score any for Inter Milan. Six games in a spell that will be forgotten by most. I would imagine, I would hope that he would get a decent reception for the fans. It is very difficult to come from England to Italy. Not many players do it these days. Robertson with the throw. I wonder if someone will do the cartwheel celebration in front of Robbie Keane. That would be hilarious if someone did that. Emmerich looking for Timber. On to Arabas. Will he get a shot away? He will and he'll score. Fourth goal of the season for Sergio Arabas. I mean, this is the quality we have. We don't have Moussa Diaby today. We don't have Dani Olmo. Both out with slight knocks. Arabas comes in, just does that. He has found his feet in Italy, which is great to see on the right-hand side today. So we'll cut in onto his left foot and does that. Great start. 125 on the clock. Playing on attacking. Torino beware. That's all I would say. Well, we have given the ball away to Harvey Barnes, which is not the greatest thing to do. Lax in midfield, but Barnes is going down that left-hand side. Ball into the area. Vicario comes. He doesn't claim it, but Baselli gets it away. We are lucky to get away with that. Vicario came for a pint of milk. Left it in the shop. Cleared back in again. I mean, we've given the ball away again. Is he going to square it? He should square it, but Baselli shuts the door. I mean, we're giving them plenty of chances. I'm going to move down to positive. I'm not liking this at the moment, so I'm going to go to gun ho. They're doing well, Torino. We need to remember that. Robertson on to Lukasiewicz. The cross. We've given the ball away again. Well, come on, then. Honestly. Arabas should be coming towards that ball, shouldn't he? It's easy loose. You go towards it, right? You don't hold your position. You go, shit, I need to pick that up. 
Timber. He leaps down into Harvey Barnes. An equaliser, maybe. I mean, we've gone away with it so far. No, Harvey Barnes has put it in. That is a well-deserved equaliser. Absolute calamity at the back. I mean, we have been calamitous since the start. I mentioned last episode that we look fairly solid at the back. Not today so far, though. Goodness me. I mean, where do you pick out the mistake here? Good challenge from Urien Timber. And then Fratesi just dawdles on the ball. Not what you need. Berate them. I think that's the best thing to do, isn't it, at the moment? Even that one didn't look like it was going to make it. Sewage. Through to Esposito. Block behind for a corner. Esposito looking lively up front so far. Arabas with the corner. No, Gary's going to take this one. Will he find a teammate? Ball in towards the centre. Lucas Sewage tries to rise. Esposito flicks it back towards goal, but the keeper has easily got that. Bellanova with the throw. There's no pressure on these players from Robbie Keane. It's nice to see, I guess. I mean, there's always pressure on us to pick up results. As Harvey Barnes comes down the left-hand side as well. He's already got one. Will he get another one? Vicario's again had a bit of a flap at it. And it's wide. Come on. Jesus. Gavi. For a teasy back to Shotlebeck. I know we can turn the wick up. And hopefully we will do it. As Robertson finds Emmerich. Back into Robertson. Plays it up the line looking for Gavi who's broken the line. Will he find a ball into the centre? It's nearly into the goal but Tanganga gets it away. Harvey Barnes is causing all sorts of trouble down this left hand side. And Urian Timber finally deals with him. Goal line technology. I mean the goal line technology thing. They still haven't fixed this. You can't tell whether that's in or not. It's definitely not obviously. But yeah whatever. And that is half time into one Torino one at the break. Perhaps we scored too early. Because we haven't been playing well since we scored, have we? Let's be fair. We are going to make a tactical tweak at half-time. Let's swap those two around. Let's see what that does. I'm going to swap those two around as well. Let's get Gavi further forward. Don't know how we're not winning. Yeah. Get out there. Sort it out. Go on. I don't know what I'd do at a half-time team talk. A one-all in a game like this. I think I'd probably just tell them what they've not been doing right. We just have a conversation about that. About the principles of football and what we play. I bought this Mala Saar on for Tanganga, which is an interesting change. As Illich is in behind and Torino in front. Oh, I mean, are we going to be saved by VAR? We were half asleep. Goodness me. Is the goal going to be given? Yeah, goal's been given. Well, I mean... Yeah, I have no idea. I mean, we had five men in the wall. Didn't need that many from bloody 35 yards out, Vicario. It means two of them were left unmarked. Problems at mill. Esposito is going to come off. Diego Jota is going to come on for him. Diego Jota should hopefully get us going. As Emric has got a free kick. Better than the first half. Not much better, but it did deflect over this time. Get a bit of encouragement on the field as well. Half an hour to play. Torino 2-1 up from a goal down. Arabas with the corner. Ball in towards the back post and it's headed towards goal and Schottlerbeck has the equaliser. There we go. 2-2. Two -two. Is Myla Saar coming off the bench and missed just the flight of the ball apparently. Schottlerbeck, I mean he's tall isn't he? He's going to win a header in the box. That's a beautiful header towards goal though. Right. Sort yourselves out. There's a throw for Andy Robertson to take. Aravas in towards Andy Robertson towards the back stick looking for Emmerich goalkeepers come and punched it clear for a teasy Gaffey Emmerich 3-2 the turnaround is complete just like that I said we turn the wick up and we have goalkeeper will take the blame for that the goalkeepers have not been brilliant today have they it's a ball in I mean he's come he's punched for a teasy to be fair he reacts quickest Gaffey with the knee down and Emric fires it in the top corner. Right, let's make another couple of changes, shall we? They've given us a little bit of a scare so far today. So, I'll tell you who's going to come on. But Telson is going to come on. Replaced Rabio in the squad this week. Andy Robertson's going to go off as well for Destiny. And let's bring on Nico Barella for Fatizi as well. Yeah, let's do that. Through! Into Aris. He's in behind Vicario with the save. Offside flag was up though. Timber with a free kick. Felson. 
or Sally. So just control the ball from here. We're in front. We haven't played particularly well today. Arabas trying to get in behind Bellanova. We'll play that back to his goalkeeper. I wouldn't do it because of what he's done. Diogo Jota picks it up. Good save from the goalkeeper. It's been calamitous all over the place at the back from both sides. Free kick. Emmerich will take it. Plays it to Diego Jota. Plays that through to Odogi. What's he doing there? Destiny. Honestly. Looking for a goal. And it's going to be Arabas to take the corner from this side. Final 10 minutes or so. Can we secure it from here? Ball in. Baselli tries to rise and it's headed away. But it's headed straight to Arabas. Plays it on to Gavi. Go on. Work your magic, son. Will he find a ball to the centre? He'll, no, he'll be tackled. Fair enough. Timber with the throw. Not seen Torino as an attacking force since we went back in front, which is good to see. Ball through to Gavi. Finds Emric. Finds number four. That's it. That wraps it up. It didn't have this written on it in the first minute of the game, but we have taken control in the end. Three without reply now. And Emric has his second of the game. He looks all right on the right-hand side, doesn't he? Comes inside, whacks it beyond the goalkeeper. 4-2. Five minutes of added time. I am going to bring Rotolev on for the last couple of minutes. You're right there. As Gavi plays it in to Hugo. Barella. On towards Baselli. Ole. Ole. I would have thought that started. Didn't look like it was going to start just after half time, did it? But there we are. That is football. Hugo plays it on to Schottlebeck. In towards Dogie. Go on, Destiny. Pick somebody out. Ball towards the back stick. Looking for Emmerich. Will he head it down? No, he won't. And Yami will pick it up. Tries to come the other way. Illich plays it on. To be fair to Torino, they've had a go. Which is not what everybody's been doing this season. Most teams have just sat back and tried to soak it up. And it never works. As they look for number three for them. And Gavi deals with that. And I admire it. To be fair to Robbie Keane, I'd imagine that's how he will be as a manager when he breaks in properly. As he's out in, I want to say, Israel at the moment. Managing. Obviously, he's been out in India as well. As old Robbie. Yeah. Attacking football is what Robbie Keane played as a player. Let's see how they get on for the rest of the season. I hope they make it into Europe nonetheless. 4-2 the final score. As I say, they've scored more goals against us than most have this season. They've caused more problems than most have. But we have still come up with the three points thanks to a great final half hour, it has to be said. So here are the results from Saturday's games as Lazio moved back up into third. Juventus also won as well, as did Napoli. Now we're going to fast forward to Sunday to see how AC Milan got on. There were lots of goals around in Serie A this weekend as well. I mean, you've got five there, five for Bologna, four at Atalanta, five at Genoa. Goodness me. The taps have really opened for the Serie A teams. So what we are going to do next time, we are going to take on unknown. Not in parts unknown. Don't be silly. We're going to take on our Champions League round of 16 opponents. So we'll take on Napoli, Sassuolo, Roma, Udinese, Monza and Pisa. And we will come back yet yeah, for that last 16 tie, whoever it might be. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.